This skin biopsy shows the typical appearances of lichen planus. Lichen planus is a non-infectious, common inflammatory skin condition that affects probably between 0.2 and 1% of the population worldwide and the age it tends to occur at is between 40 and 60 years old. Lichen planus affects the flexor aspects of the forearm, wrist and ankle and also the trunk but it may also involve mucosal surfaces such as the buccal mucosa where the typical appearance is white, lacy lesions. It can also affect the penis, that's the foreskin and the glands and also the vulva. Lichen planus presents with itchy purple-red papules or flat shiny plaques, sometimes with white dots or lines called Wickham striae. The lesions uh, may occur at a site of minor trauma and this is known as the Kerbner phenomenon. And when the lesions of lichen planus eventually resolve, usually in around 18 months, they may leave pigmented patches. And this is as a result of histiocytes taking up melanin that have been released from the basal cell layer that has been damaged by the inflammation. An easy way to remember the presentation of lichen planus is with the four P's, that is pruritic purple polygonal papules. Lichen planus is caused by a band-like lymphocytic infiltrate at the dermoepidermal junction where the basal cells and melanocytes are destroyed and in mucosal lichen planus there may be loss of epidermis as a result of the inflammation. Lichen planus may also affect hair follicular epithelium where the follicle basal cells are destroyed and this is a cause of alopecia. The name of this condition is lichen planopilaris. The key histological features of lichen planus include hyperkeratosis, usually without parakeratosis, hypergranulosis, that is focal, sawtooth acanthosis, basal cell liquefaction, that is where the basal cells and melanocytes are destroyed, civat body formation, uh, the civat bodies are also known as hyaline or colloid bodies, these occur in the basal aspect of the epidermis or in the papillary dermis and at the dermoepidermal junction there is the characteristic dense well-defined band-like lymphocytic infiltrate. This part of the skin biopsy shows hypergranulosis with large purple granules in the granular layer and hyperkeratosis the slow power view of the skin biopsy shows the characteristic band-like chronic inflammatory infiltrate and irregular acanthosis with sharp pointed reedy ridges. This is a nice example of the sawtooth acanthosis in lichen planus. In this part of the skin biopsy, the Basal cells are being destroyed and this is an example of basal cell liquefaction, typical of lichen planus. And in this biopsy there is clefting between the epidermis and dermis where there will eventually be loss of the epidermis and ulceration. The pink acellular structure we are zooming into at the centre of the picture at the Dermoepidermal junction is a nice example of a civat body. And in the papillary dermis near the civat body, there are macrophages containing the melanin liberated from the damaged melanocytes in the basal layer. And finally, here is another example of basal cell liquefaction with civat body formation in the basal layer.